a fan of the television show Big Bang, you might remember Sheldon and his fun with flags. Well, today we're going to have Dan's fun with names. I was thinking of Hebrew names today for whatever reason. See what you think of these. I got quite a list. If you have a grandson coming along, a boy, you could name him Arya, which means lion. For example, are you ready? Or Asher, which means happy, such as I sure is glad to see you. Or Boaz. Now Boaz, I didn't have a, couldn't find a meaning for it. It's not a Hebrew name, but uh, you probably heard people say Boaz sure is dumb. Uh, or Baruch. Baruch means blessed. Uh, maybe you told your friend, I'm flat broke. Baruch. Well, one or the other. Girls' names. Ada means beautiful scenery, as in Ada preferred to stay longer. Or Chava means life-giving. For example, have another bagel. Or Tamar, which is a palm tree. You say, Tamar, nice people. Nevia, forecaster, as in never you mind. This is the Feast of John Vianney. Let me read a little of this here. It's very good. Um, we have two uh, the juxtaposition of, of two models of people in these readings today. You've got uh, what I would call our progenitors in the faith, the people that are still in the uh, exodus, finding their way to the promised land. They are the, um, they're, they're the very origin of uh, the term liners. They have experienced miracle after miracle after miracle, and yet they still go dragging their feet and fussing all the way. Now they've sent these spies to check out the land, and they come back with these ridiculous tales of giants, of just all the way of saying, oh, we can't go do this, no. It's sort of like the, um, the cowardly lion in The Wizard of Oz when they're planning the assault on the castle. Oh, no, we can't do this. No, there's all these reasons, terrible things. Oh, no, 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 no. They're all ready to talk themselves out of it. In the gospel, we have the Syrophoenician woman. I like that term Syrophoenician. You can also call her a Canaanite, but I think Syrophoenician sounds neater. So I'll stick with that. And uh, she needs a little favor from Jesus. Well, initially, Jesus is not being nice. Um, you know, it's obvious his mother's not there because he wouldn't possibly have spoken to that woman the way he did if she had been. He basically calls her a dog says it's not right to give the food of sons to dogs. She says, well, even dogs get what falls from the master's table. She knows that he can and will come across. She knows that he is the source of life. And so she doesn't let these other little things get in the way. Why should we then? But oh my gosh, I hear it all the time I bet you do too somebody took my parking space why did they have to change the mass time oh my goodness would you look at the color of this place who picked that color I hate that hymn if they never sing it again I'll be more than happy as a priest I can tell you I get thrilled when I see a visitor almost running in the door she says, I'm just so grateful I found a church I'm from out of town and it means so much to be able to come to Mass. There's your Syrophoenician woman.